They don't know the difference between retro and downright dated. Your best friends may not tell you your fashion sense ground to a halt 20 years ago. But as you may have guessed by now, we're not your best friends. And we will. This week we're in the rather posh grounds of Eton College, Britain's most prestigious school. For three weeks we've been secretly filming Sue Young, a dame at the school. A dame is Eton's version of a matron. She's always rushing around from one school event to another, as well as being a surrogate mother figure to 52 teenage boys. There's clearly been no time for shopping since 1985, although she does find time to accessorise Mr Darcy, the new love of her life. She looks like she's about to tell someone's fortune. <gasps> Look, what's she got there? It's an ankle chain. She's wearing her dog's collar around her ankle. Yeah, what is it? Diamante. It. Judging by her wardrobe, we feel Sue may be repressed by her environment as we've seen glimpses of her inner flirt. It's our job to instill a bit of sartorial harmony, and that's why she's been nominated. One does have this idea of a, of a matronly-like figure when you talk about a dame at Eton. Um, going around and seeing people off to bed, probably wearing tweeds. Not in Sue's case, I mean, they will be a very tight-fitting pair of leggings. She does verge on the tartiness occasionally. The other dames are much less interesting in what they were, whereas our dame really goes for it, try something different. She um, doesn't follow trends, I wouldn't say. Uh, she reads magazines, but she doesn't take any notice. <laughs> all, the, Just, all the kind of army rough gear, you know, it's like she's trying to kind of fade into the landscape. I don't like that. She should be a bit more proud of her body, look a bit more glamorous. But yeah, just a bit more now. This is the uniform of the uninitiated in the exercise area because it's tight leggings, a big bag of white t-shirt, and Susan, it is the, the most unflattering thing. And I think when you exercise, you don't want to feel short and squat, and that's what Sue's looking like. Oh, <gasps> there's mm. socks, little doggy socks. There's our Sock Shop 399 specials. Big baggy shirts aren't great on Big boobs. Rugby shirts are even worse. Her dog and her were separated at birth. <laughs> Just weren't they? Say that. Look at the leopard skin, hair, hair piece there. How old is she? She's 40, isn't she? But she looks older how she's dressing, Suze. She really does. Good legs, very good legs. Very good yeah. legs. <gasps> I think it's that. Have you noticed? Yes, I have. Short sleeved jacket. Short sleeve. We haven't seen one of those. It's not ever shoved up. Before. It's not shoved up. No, it's oh, a short Suze, sleeved is. jacket. And it's in python print. <gasps> oh, that good old ribbed polar neck, somebody with tits. <gasps> it's chenille. It's like, it is it's like nails down a blackboard to be chenille. I would like to go and get every one of these jumps that's ever been made and burn them. <gasps> I'm going to hyperventilate now. Look at those tights. She's wearing the thick 20 dernier yeah. flesh-coloured tights. She's a very attractive young woman. Oh, I think it's. Uh, I think we we have we have a duty to make sure that she goes out there and socks it to them. Herself. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Should we go and get her? Yeah. At our request, Kit, the chief nominator, has invited the other dames, housemasters, and boys to a garden party under the pretext of having an announcement to make. Sue is blissfully unaware that we are about to gate crash. I think what she's done is she's abandoned any sense of style in lieu of her responsibility and her job here. I would love that we could just show how Sue could be in this environment and she could actually be a bit different. We need to get a move on. Oh my God. Sit here, ten past. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, I thank you all for coming. I know that you were Sue, 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 come over here. <laughs> Sue, Kit did have an announcement, but it's us who have a main announcement, which oh, is so that we have been secretly filming your every move for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand up, don't bury your head in your dog's hair, now. <laughs> Two weeks ago, you went for dinner with the dames at Bray, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, we know, we saw that really 
vile <laughs> short sleeve jacket of yours. Mm -hmm. And also, dear Sue, <laughs> oh. aren't you always late for meetings? I'm always late. You are, aren't you? And we've been secretly filming the last three meetings oh, where you've worn the same <laughs> bloody outfit <laughs> every time. And all you've changed is your tights. <laughs> you have been set up by Kit and the other dames as somebody who is in need of a complete wardrobe overhaul. We hear that your dog is better dressed than you are. Oh. Oh. Now this, that was that was I'm better dressed than you are. Sue, this check here is for two thousand pounds. Oh. Okay, and every penny is for you, but none of it will be going to you unless you hand over your body, your wardrobe, not my letter, and my letter this collection. hair. <laughs> <laughs> this hair. You've got to go back to school and learn the basics all over again. Are you up for it? Are you up for it? <laughs> <laughs> I can only improve. Oh. I do feel a bit anxious because I have seen people in tears over uh, Trini and Susanna's comments and I feel there will be a few coming my way. Rightly so, I'm sure. Dear, oh dear, I'm sure my wardrobe assassination will give, give everyone a good giggle. A few days later, Sue comes to our office with her entire wardrobe to watch the secret footage. <gasps> you thought it was a oh. cool video. Oh dear. <laughs> good pose, that pose. Look at those leggings, Sue. Look at them all what sagging else, and bagging at the knee. What else do you wear for yoga? I mean... But do you feel kind of attractive in that outfit? No, I don't mean to be attractive. You like to swathe yourself, don't you, sometimes? I mean, this is the opposite of what you're wearing today, but... You know, the rugby shirt, the big man shirt, the big white baggy T-shirt. Well, yes, covering up all those. This is one of the worst tragedies of a jacket we have ever seen, actually. Especially the cropped sleeve. Yes. Oh, stuffing. How embarrassing. Look. Oh, dear. <laughs> you do wear, tend to wear polo necks or round necks, don't you? I wear all polos a lot. They just mm. don't suit you, Sue. And also, your, all your skirts are quite short, I have to say. They are quite short. So the, we feel that, you know, Although you dress to conform with the other dames and the environment, there is a bit of a flirt underneath all this, we mm. feel. Oh, my housemaster. Yeah, this could be a case in point on the flirting could it? scenario. Oh, oh looking very businesslike. Oh, shoes off. Well, that's a very casual approach to Ooh. take with one's housemaster, isn't it? Shoes off. It's like you've sort of been there many a late night. <laughs> <laughs> well, a very close relationship. Mm. It's like from the waist down, you're a flirty, sexy woman, and from the waist up, you're an old frump. Oh, thank you. Because this is the most cheeky we've seen you. Is this your true colours, or are you just having us on today? No, I think, sadly, this probably is my true colours, yeah. but okay. I don't have huge opportunities yeah. to break out. I can't go trotting around Eton looking like this. It's probably... well, that's a bit Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde, isn't well, it? Well, I am. Frumpy is not the word I usually associate with myself, I have to say, so I'm a bit put out about that. Time for Sue to reveal the true colours of her wardrobe. Well, I'm not sure if we're in a kind of wildlife safari <laughs> park or Sylvester Stallone's mother's wardrobe. <laughs> But should we just start with? Let's oh, start with. Yes, hallelujah. Where's the lighter? I just want to get a match to that now. <laughs> it, you know what? Looking at you in this, when we were sitting down in that restaurant, I first of all thought to myself, you're 50. I really did. Oh, you please. think it's a, a snazzy snake, but it aged you so much. So. Anything with an animal print has to go. Oh, no. Yes. yes. Well, that would be practically everything. Not my machine. Yes. Your machinos are going. Your mosquito. No, 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 Pick them up, Susanna. OK, well, I think we should try them on and tell you why. Yeah, OK. OK. Those are all going to go. All of them. Yeah, yeah, because you know why they've got to go? Every picture we saw of you where it was the least flattering, did nothing for you, and I don't even think it was that practical, was the rugby shirt or the shirt. 
Well, there's a lot so, to go then. Yep, those. And those. And I'm even going to include these little silk numbers. Come on then. Fling it. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Thanks. This is a really nice way of doing it. <gasps> oh, that's my horn blower outfit. Oh, sorry, what, what horn blower? I didn't oh, understand. You know, sailor top. Oh, oh. I mean, that is old fashioned. It's got a stretchy thing again. It's, it's so disgusting, I can't even touch it. You're not Hurricane Higgins, you never will be. <laughs> You're not Hurricane Higgins, you never will be. Waistcoats are big at Eton. They might be big at Eton. For it doesn't mean you have to make them big. The shape of this top is so good for you because it's a sort of sweetheart neckline and it's fitted. Oh, I thought you'd say that was hideous. Mm. No, we said the shape of this oh, right. top is very good for you. <laughs> Surprise, um, surprise. This is what inspired me to, to go. um, name you Sylvester Stallone's <laughs> mother. It's a T-shirt. Not, not only is it a oh, T-shirt with gold... in the garden, then, but drinking can I tell you, Kim's, it, being cash. It has got... It's not my pyjamas. But it's a T-shirt with shoulder pads in it. Is it? What era do you live in? What decade? Now, this drawer here... It's my don't deserve it drawer. There are all sorts of things in there which have never been used. Why yeah. haven't they been used? Because they're waiting for good reason to be used, or for me to have been successful in my diet, or something like that. It's okay, a little... so it's little prizes yes. for you. Sad, isn't it? I hope by the time we finish, you don't need that, because I think everything in your wardrobe you will feel you deserve. Okay, mm, and I think good. that's where we got to get to. That's our mission. Sue, yeah, and I think that's a that really that. yeah. I think that's yeah. a really important yeah. point, Sue, because you really do deserve to treat yourself. Okay, and. You know, we we really want to help you, and oh, you'll I have more tell time you, be a huge to have relief. fun. Why are these going? Oh, please! <laughs> All my leopard collection gone. Much beloved things gone. I feel I don't know how I feel. Quite sad, really. I've got nothing to wear now. We show Sue the uncut error of her ways. <sighs> Nope. <laughs> Who do you see in that mirror? <laughs> Floozy. <laughs> Floozy Susie. Oh, well, we did say, didn't we? Jekyll and Hyde. I might wear this to go out on the pool. But do you think, what message do you think that's giving? Well, very tarty. Mm. So what kind of man are you after, is the question, I think. Tarsal. Are you just <laughs> after sex? <laughs> Are yeah, you just after sex? Certainly not. not okay, so don't then. Get much of that I just wanted to kind of get a little sneak oh! of this. What's what's that all about, you cheeky thing? <laughs> what is that all about? Oh, what's wrong with that? What happens if you drop a pencil on the ground? Well, <laughs> she's got an answer for everything. Uh, We've got to teach you how to do sexy. Yeah. Can you get Medea? I think we might have to come in with you this time, actually. This is so busy. It's like nipple button tit. You know, a ton. I mean, there's so many buttons on this thing. We we really do say that you know it's not about following fashion. It's about wearing clothes that suit you. But I this really nice, think right? this is one time <laughs> when you do need to be a little bit more fashionable. All your clothes make a statement, Sue. So the last outfit, it was sort of hooker barmaid, God knows what, on the pool. <laughs> this says, I don't buy any clothes now. I bought them all in the eighties. We're seeing your figure, we're seeing that you've got a wonderful waist, we're seeing that you've got great bosoms. We're not really seeing that you've got much of a chin or a head. And the knit of this is just making you look bigger than you actually are. But I mean, you know, you've got a great figure and we've never seen it. I did have a few compliments, which was very nice, it's unexpected, I have to say. I haven't burst into tears quite yet. We've got rid of 90% of your wardrobe, Sue, so the least we can do is come up with great rules which you can look at, understand, we want you to understand them, and go off and get a wardrobe that's very transient. It will move from one event in your life to the next without being as jarring as your previous wardrobe. First one is the yoga outfit. These are yoga trousers. They're very floppy, they're flattering, they don't cling to your thigh. The shoes are something that you know, the boys at school were covered. Then for those meetings, on the surface, quite a conventional suit, but it's actually supremely well cut because it's very nipped in the waist, so we're really going to see your figure. The trousers are quite tight around the bottom, so they're going to hug your butt rather than fall straight from it. So we're really going to see that butt because we need to see it because it's 
a very good bottom. And the most important outfit for you is the evening seduction outfit. So forget about that kind of everything on display, here I come, Sue. That, that woman is buried, all right? Instead, in her place, we have a person who grows on you, that you look at her and you think, that's so, the whole thing is appealing. And then you look closer and you say, what a sexy ass!" Because you're wearing a quite tight skirt, which cups you under the bum and shows off everything, but subtly. And then you can go forth and multiply, mm -hmm. hopefully, with Mr. Darcy. The yeah. two-legged one, not the yeah. poodle. From now on, things will improve. I have been promised that I'm going to look wonderful with some good, sensible advice. Everything will improve. So you won't be embarrassed to be seen with me ever again. We have lots of little black dress occasions at Eton, and I think this would probably be uh, quite good. As long as I cover my cleavage, we dames have to be a bit uh, a bit of decorum now and again. And then, of course, when I'm out on the town in Windsor, whoo, leopard bra. <laughs> More dieting, the exercises are not working. I've got to be much harder with myself. Nothing's coming out of that don't deserve it drawn. I've seen this lot. Those are quite nice, aren't they? But I can see that they're right about the V-neck. And I like that. It's just I feel it's still a bit too... Oh, I think the headmaster would approve of this. Black knickers underneath. Very subtle. <laughs> There's just so much choice, and I'm now feeling slightly pressurised to choose the right things and go for colours that I wouldn't normally. So, um... A bit confusing, really. You know, it's the kind of day I like, Suze, because it's a day of taking back a bit of control. You know what I'm like? Mm, yeah. How much has she spent? She's spent quite a lot. She's spent 800 quid so far. I think we need to just be aware that, you know, you can make a mistake with 800 pounds, but we don't want to make a mistake with any more. Yeah. Lovely suede trousers. We've come to check up on Sue and make sure she spends the rest of her money according to our rules. <gasps> Oh, thank God she put yeah. that back. She can't wear any more minis. There's a part of Sue that does have a kind of core girl trying to get out. But she just has that thing thinking that short is sexy. Mm. Very short is sexy. With our help, she'll, she'll be spot on. Yeah, Come OK. On. Quick. We both think the same, but I just I feel we do need to try some the invitation for myself. Okay, so the, we haven't really advanced from when we saw you in the studio, yeah, have we? Yeah, what do you mean? No, you've got, you've got, you know... Brown. Subdued hooker. Well, I'm really mortified. You kept saying I was frumpy, so yeah. this is not frumpy. Mm -hmm. This is my, you know, just because I'm a dame doesn't mean to say I've got to be a complete dull art. No, totally you're a pantomime dame. This, this is playtime. This is playtime. This is a bit frilly, and, and to be honest, with, yeah. with big boobs, and I, I have exactly the same thing, as soon as I put lace or frills next to my chest, it makes the garment look cheap. And also okay. it looks like underwear. I don't know what's happened. I don't know if there was a... Did anything penetrate the brain? I don't know. What I'm nervous about is what she has spent her £800 on so far. Because she spent a lot of money, and if it's gone on like that, I know. we're in big we're, trouble. I know, I know. You have a look. How does it feel? I like that. I yeah. feel happy, but I would definitely slam on a polo neck underneath it. Yeah, well, you would have done in the old days. I would have done. You would probably be better off keeping it undone and just hanging like that, because you do it up and it does begin to pull. Yeah, but if you got it too big, it wouldn't give you that nice, slim look that you're getting there, which you want to keep. That's quite nice. It's important she gets the right size in those, because you don't want them too flabby around the bum, especially as Sue has no bum, you know? With you, you need to take a small size, don't yeah. you? I take a bigger size because of my ass does spread. I feel confident yeah, about I do too. her choices here. I think she's going to be mm -hmm. fine. No sign of Susanna and Trini. This is the only store they haven't jumped on me and said I've made some faux pas. Well, we know she's still hankering after a really pretty summer dress. Mm. I want, uh, I want the dress crazy, to yes. make me look wonderful. I want to look slim and tall and gorgeous. So, is there such a dress? I wonder. I don't know if dresses are going to suit her. It's just that classic problem that if it fits on the tits, it's too big on the waist. Yeah. 
Well, I would be happy if we could find some kind of sexy seduction outfit. Mm. Would I look ravishing in this? Ravishing, that's what I want to look, ravishing. Hello. Susie Sue! Gonna look a bit dodgy, and my it God, does, does it! It's very dodgy. Oh. Pick some stuff up along the way because you just—we just thought you were going to a stage where you'd done a lot of shopping, and there was so much to choose from, and you were feeling frustrated. Frustrated, confused, and very depressed. Do you remember we said no frills, no decoration, no? It was just looking for. A... It's all going on in this dress, isn't it? Oh, I know. Just forget that top. We just want that off now. Okay. Please. Skirt is absolutely Beautiful. stunning. Great shape for you. But look at the sexiness here. Look, no, no, look at the side. Look, turn to the side. Look. Oh! Mm -hmm. And Very that is much. really sexy. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, that could be the do bit that does it. Do you think my housemaster would mind that? Well, what do you think? Do you want him to mind that? Sue, you know what's really bugging me? I know. I Can I ask you something? Sense. You know these aren't such good pull-ups, are they? These ones? Ooh, no, they aren't such good pull-ups, are they? So should we just get rid of them? Oh! Okay, just get them off your but feet. So you will never... <sighs> Okay. Ever wear them again. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, I don't know how I'm going to get okay. out of this. I need a okay. Stanley Kinder. knife. Kinder. Fantastic. <sighs> so you might have to get a zip put in here. It's a bit fierce, isn't it? Fierce? What do you mean? Well, don't I look a bit fierce in this? You look sexy. I think it fits you like a glove on <sighs> here, on your bum. Can I just... I think you just Mates. need to... Pull them up. Excuse me. We are, we do know each other quite well now. Is this your good bra? Sue? This is my rigby bra. But this oh, is you not need, you need a wonder bra, pushing yeah. them forward and that. I think you should definitely get that. Yeah. It's fortunate you do look so good in it, because you might never get out of it. Sue returns to the what not to wear apartment with her new clothes. It's out with the frizzy mop and in with the sexier, sleeker Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Where's Sue? You are, first of all, at least ten years younger. I mean, that's what that's yeah. what I, I noticed more than anything. That's first my what... grey hair's gone. No, it's no. not because of that, Sue. It's because your eyes are suddenly so blue. You don't look old-fashioned like you're stuck in a time warp anymore. You... I can't get over how young you look. How does it feel? Does it scare you a bit that you look so different? Well, I don't recognise myself. I'm so used to seeing myself with my curly-whirly manic hair. It doesn't feel like my hair at all. It doesn't feel like a Brillo pad. It feels like hair. You say that you don't recognise yourself and no-one else is going to recognise you, but maybe that's not such a bad thing. This is a new era for you. No leopard. No leopard. Well... You know what they say, take the girl out of the leopard, but has the leopard come out Well, you know what, that doesn't matter. That's fine. That doesn't matter, that's good. Here I am, ready for yoga. Yep. Okay. Well, this feels much more like me. Mm -hmm. You now look like someone who does yoga five days a week because your figure looks so fantastic. Whereas before, in that big baggy T-shirt, mm. the tight cellulite revealing... What? Leggings, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, but through the, even through though they were black, you now look just, you've, you've lost weight without doing anything apart from putting clothes on. You look great. Well, this is my don't mess with me. Also, it's <laughs> damn right here it is. It's classic and what it's doing is showing off your shape to its best advantage whilst giving you the kind of authority as you say and you're going to knock the other dames dead by looking like this. I think you've done a surprising job with me. The outcome is so dramatically different to when we first met you, and I never thought you would come such a long way. It's been a little trip. I still look now, and I can't quite believe it's you, I have to say that. And um, we hope that, you know, you get your man. Mr Darcy will still recognise you. Mm -hmm. I hope it's so. It's by smell with him, nothing else. And the boys are going to be dead proud of you, so... Well... Mm. I want the boys to be proud yeah. of their day. Yeah. That is very important. Yeah. Listen, it's Thank been you. great. And you look wonderful! Oh. <laughs> Don't Thanks. ruin her lipstick! <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great collection of colours. Your purples and browns work very well with her new hair. 
all her tops come out with flying colours. They're great shape, they hide the tummy, they show off her assets, and the colours are fab. And all the accessories, you know, she's really gone to town on two bags, belts, great shoes, boots, the scarf. Yeah, she sort of did that on her own, didn't she? I mean, she's really got it. The girl has got it. She got such a great selection of clothes for her lifestyle, and she spent £2,136 overall. Our cameras follow Sue as she returns to her normal routine to ensure the only animal prints unleashed upon her wardrobe are those of Mr Darcy. God, she looked amazing, didn't she? Yeah, she did. I mean, that difference in that, the hair. I mean, I know she's not going to be able to keep it like that, but it's just incredible. Oh, that's nice. It's a good casual. She still looks 10 years younger, Susanna. And it is having the straighter hair. And I mean, the softer clothes. She looks like she's taking her dog to Crofts rather than taking herself to Crofts now. Mm -hmm. The amount of weight she's lost by wearing the right shaped clothes. Jeans look fantastic on her, a really good bootleg cut. Even her yoga outfit looks really fabulous. And then before, she looked just like a sack. But it just shows that those clothes you can wear and you can be very flexible in, arse over tip, and then you go out and get a pint of milk down the high street or, you know, go and have lunch with someone. Mm. It's, that's a brave shot to allow to be filmed. I know. Arse in the camera, bending over. Mm -hmm. She must feel more confident about her body doing that. Mm. Look at her. I mean... To have a dame like that. Mm. It's very approachable what she's wearing, but, but she's quite glamorous. Mm. You know, she's not a frumpy matron. Not at all. More kind of uh, subtle, a bit more sophisticated. Um, and I think I'm not, I, I, I approve. I like it. Um, I'm glad that all the leopard skin has gone. I think she's got much subtler clothes. They look a lot better. I think Sue's now walking tall and she's strutting her stuff. I think that... The change that has been brought about has introduced a new element to her, which maybe existed before, but which perhaps hasn't come out before. I tell you, she's not going to be single for long. This was her, her previous moment to this, do you remember, was the cropped jacket in the, in the kind of tiger print. Uh -huh. So this is her being sexy in a, a very different outfit. On the oh. lips. <laughs> it's see. But she change. has become a classic, and it's like nothing was too trendy, nothing was too fashionable. That's how she can dress for the next 30 years and, and not look out of date.